It's ridiculous. It should have never happened like this. It was a sight this Petersburg family never thought they would see. I come out here, they don't have nothing. No tent, no dig, no holes in the ground. A day that should have been about laying Renee Browder to rest, the mother of two who was caught in the crossfire and killed on her back porch on July 22nd. Instead, her family spent Wednesday wondering why her grave wasn't ready after her funeral. It already hurts that I have to bury one of my kids. Browder's mother, Karen Johnson, says they owed the funeral home $3,000 before the funeral, but were only able to pay a partial amount and dropped that money off after business hours Tuesday night. And she had to sit in the back of a hearse for an hour just to get her gravesite dug. This should already been done. We talked off camera with workers from a private company who prepare grave sites. They tell CBS 6 they didn't get the call to come out to the cemetery until after the family got there. And they say they are told when and where to be by the funeral home. I don't know where the miscommunication came from, but somebody need to be held accountable for what they did. And I just pray that this doesn't happen to another family. Because like my mom said, it's already emotional as it is today that we're supposed to lay my sister to rest.